Hi guys, welcome to Ahmad Logs channel. This is second part of my video series of ESP32 Blink Relay Control. And in this video I will show you how to add the Bluetooth feature in the project for controlling the home appliances. It is recommended to watch the part 1 of the video for complete understanding of the project. In part 1, we have learned to control home appliances using new Blink. As well as to control the relays by using push buttons without internet. I will put the link of the video in the description. Now, I have also added the Bluetooth feature in this project to control the relay using onboard Bluetooth of ESP32. For this, I have created the Android app using MIT App Inventor. In this video, I will show you how to set up and install Android app for Bluetooth control. Here is the wiring diagram. I did not make any change in wiring diagram. So, it does not require any change in the hardware setup. The code is available on my GitHub account. I will put the download link in the video description. First, click here to open the sketch. Then, select and copy all the code from here. Then, go to Arduino IDE and paste the code here. After that, update these credentials from Blink account. For that, go to Blink dashboard. Then, click on My Devices and then select your device. If you did not know how to set up Blink account, then watch the first part of the video. Here, click on Device Info. Here is Template ID, Device Name, and Auth Token. Copy these by clicking here. Then, go back to Arduino IDE and paste the credentials here. Next, I have included Bluetooth library. This library is installed automatically while installing the ESP32 board. Then enter your Wi Fi SSID and password here. And below. Here, in the loop function, I have called handle Bluetooth function. This function controls the communication between ESP32 and Android app using Bluetooth. And below. Here, I have defined the handle Bluetooth function. And this block of code get commands from Android app. And this block of code controls the relay according to the command sent from Android app. For this project, I am using ESP32 Development Kit version 1. But if you select the ESP32 Development Kit version 1 and then compile the code, you will definitely get this error. Error compiling for the board. This is because the sketch is bigger than the available flash memory of ESP32. Here, you can see the size of our sketch, which is approximately 2.7 megabytes. And it is 101% of the total available memory of ESP32. And here is the maximum flash memory of ESP32, which is 2.5 megabytes. It's mean the sketch size is bigger than the available flash memory of ESP32. This is the main reason for the error. To solve this error, you need to select the following board. ESP32 development module. And then, select partition scheme. Here select, huge app, 3 megabytes, no OTA. And then, hit upload button to upload the code. Now, here you can see, only 42% of program memory is used. Then open the serial monitor, to check the connection status with Blink, as well as, with Bluetooth. Next step is, to set up Android app for Bluetooth control. You can download the APK file, to your mobile phone from my GitHub account. And then install it. That's it. Your phone is ready to send commands to the project. If you want to compile the app yourself, or you want to make some changes in the app. For that, I have included the source code file. Just download the file to your computer. And then, go to MIT App Inventor. Here, click on Create App. You will be automatically log in with your Google account. Then, click on Projects. And then, click on Import Project from My Computer. Here click on, choose file. And then, select the AIA file, that we have downloaded before. Open it by click on open. And then click on, OK. And the project dashboard will appear. This is the interface of the project. 
Here, I have added the on and off buttons to control the relays. And here, you can check the code blocks of the project. Let's make the project APK file. For that, click on build, then Android app APK. The build process will start. It will take some time to complete. Here you can see the APK file is ready. Click on download and the file will start downloading. After downloading complete, open the file location. Here is the APK file. Now copy it into the mobile phone and then install the app. After installation complete, open the app. First, turn on Bluetooth of the phone. Then go to Bluetooth settings. Here, you will see the ESP32 device. Pair it. You can see the device is paired. Next, go back to app. Here, click on, select Bluetooth device button. Then, select the ESP32 device that we have been paired. Here you can see, the Bluetooth is connected. That's it. The project is ready. Now, you can control the home appliances using Bluetooth app without the internet. And while you have connected to the internet, then you might use Blink app. This is for today. If you have any question, then comment below. See you in the next video. Bye.